What is up y'all? It's that guy in tech. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's gonna be a fun quick video where I go over a list of the upcoming conferences for 2022. And there might be a couple that have already passed. I know I'm a little bit late on the videos. Uh, it's already month two of the year, but um, also just wanted to share one of my new year's resolutions. I'm gonna try to wear this hoodie in every single one of my videos for this year. We'll see how that goes. Um, but if we go to the screen here, you can see, you know, this, uh, the reason why I want to kind of wear my pink hoodie is that I want to match my Chibi Shinobi NFT um, that, you know, I have on all my socials. So if you go to my Twitter, you can see, you know, this little guy right here uh, is my Chibi Shinobi NFT. So super happy and excited to really commit to my metaverse character. Anyways, if you go to my website right here, thatguyintech.com, you know, there's blah, 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 talk about myself. But if you click on this link, 2022 conferences, I have, tr I'm trying to collect this list of all the conferences that I'm hearing about that are related to crypto, blockchain technology, and Web3. So this is particularly relevant to anyone out there who is interested in learning more about how to build in this space or meeting other people who are starting companies and trying to, uh, you know, develop this cutting edge technology and make something cool out there. So the way that I've set up this list is I have um, basically the events on this first column, so the name of the actual event, whether or not I know of a hackathon that is going on at, simultaneously at that event or like leading up to the event or something like that. Uh, and this way it makes it really easy for um, specifically for engineers and developers who really want to go to only the events where you know you can like apply for a hackathon competition you know, compete, learn a little bit, and then maybe make, make some money or earn some sponsorship prizes or whatever. Uh, I also have the start date, the end date. Um, and so unfortunately, the Google um, uh, spreadsheet integration I'm using, you can't really l allow users to sort by start and end. So I'm sorry about that um, or sort by anything else. So yeah, I, I just have to do it every now and then and you can kind of see the view. But yeah, what city it's in, what country it's in, and then the official website. So uh, the green ones, and you can see here, green means that I plan to be there. I have already made plans and I'm, I'm committing to be there. Uh, and yellow means that I'm thinking about it, still trying to organize my time. There might be a bunch that are kind of overlapping. I might be tired, whatever. Um, so yeah, first one is NFT hack. That happened a while ago. Um, that was pretty cool. A lot of really great hacks that came out of that. Um, I wish I was a little bit more involved for that one, but it was too busy. Um, web, th uh, road to web three that, I guess that just happened. I kind of missed that one too. Um, but that was a hackathon and that was, uh, organized by the same group, um, ETH global, but they partnered with Polygon. And then this one was NFT, but, uh, an NFT like subset team, but it was also part of ETH global. So they're doing a ton of work on creating good conferences. Uh, ETH Denver is gonna be huge. If you go if you go on Twitter right now and you search up like ETH Denver, you'll probably see like every other tweet is like, hey, who's gonna be at ETH Denver? Um, see David Phelps, big player in the space. Anyone coming to our party and ETH Denver, uh, ETH Denver roll call, um, blah blah blah. ETH Denver overlaps Valentine's Day. That's true. I need to. That reminds me. I need to. I need to book plans for that. Um, but I will make a vlog of this trip, ETH Denver coming up. It's going to be crazy. There's like a whole week leading up to the actual event, um, the actual main weekend event. And you can see, this is my first time going. I've never actually been, but I've heard stories from Patrick Collins and like everybody else who has been. Uh, it just looks really fun. You know, they, they try to like keep it really goofy, really chill, casual, weird. You know, there's like DJs, food trucks. I heard it's going to be cold too. You know, it's like, February in Denver. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, a lot of press, a lot of swag, a lot of sponsors. Alchemy is going to be sponsoring. I'm going to be going as part of like, you know, work with Alchemy. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to have, I'm going to try to have some content on the Alchemy channel with like maybe um, talking to people who are using Alchemy to build. And then on this channel, it'll be more of my personal like vlog of that experience. So anyways, it's just, it's exciting. There's just going to be so many builders and like companies and users and all these people there. Um, and it'll be a huge party and there's a retreat afterwards. So yeah, I just, that's, this is kind of the reason why I want to share this list is like, if you are someone who is trying to learn more, uh, just get involved, you know, like maybe, maybe you're, you're a skeptic too, right? I doubt you're a skeptic if you're watching my channel, but 
um, you know, this is where people are going to try to meet. And I know there's a pandemic going on still, but um, I, I'm sorry to say I've caught COVID. I've got, I got two shots, two vaccine shots. Uh, didn't get my booster yet, so I, I should get my booster still. But I had already caught Omicron, I believe. And it's just, you know, anyways, I'm rambling. So ex- super excited to go to these events. Uh, the next one afterwards will be, uh, well, Shelling Point is actually happening, I think, simultaneously at East Denver. There's a Web3 Con. This one's super exciting too because this is the first ever conference hosted by developer DAO, which is a DAO that um, I have been a part of for a while now. And the people in this DAO are top notch, high quality developers who have come around all around the world. You know, the United States, uh, Europe, India, everywhere. I don't know why I'm starting to list countries, but they're, they're like a lot of countries are presented. Um, anyways, in this DAO. And so uh, one of my starting to become good friends of uh, chat literally one time, but I think he's like someone that I will probably interact with a lot. Rahat, he's one of the key organizers of Web3, um, Web3 Con. And so, you know, he's, he's a great front end developer, tons of experience, um, and is a really great guy all around. So this is something that I look forward to as well. Uh, honestly, everything on this list, uh, South by Southwest, you know, I didn't really th- consider this one actually at first, but, um, you know, we're thinking about Alchemy's thinking about being there and it is, you know, it'll also, if I do go, it'll be my first time. Um, but that's, that'll be a fun one too, because it's like, if for people who don't know, it's like tech, media, culture, everything. And they've, you know, been around for a while now. A lot of like early musicians get gain traction from performing at South by Southwest. Um, and, uh, and there's, yeah, there's, it's also tech too, right? It's talking about how kind of tech can influence culture in the future. Um, and blockchain and NFTs is very, very relevant to that conversation right now. So it makes sense for, for people to be there. Um, ETH Rio, uh, I was intending to be on this one, but I need to update this. I think I probably won't if we end up going to South by Southwest. So, you know, uh, NFT LA sounded like it was going to be an interesting one. Um, but I think it's very, it's not developer focused at all. So if we were to go as Alchemy, um, I would probably make sure that the team is like hosting a side event that attracts developers. Yeah. I don't know. It seems cool, but it seems just more like media targeted, you know, um, and Hollywood stuff. Dev Connect is one that I'm super. Oh, okay, I'm skipping a bunch here. East Dubai. I think I, I really want to check out Dubai. I think Dubai is like a very innovative city, and I think uh, the speaker lineup so far in East Dubai is pretty good. Um, Austin Griffith. I mean, Natter Dabit. I mean, all these guys. Andre Crony. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but founder of Yearn um, is very like would be great to hear from. Um, you know basically these are like really serious builders influencers in the space um people who have really gotten uh, involved mudit gupta he he's he has some of the best breakdowns of large crypto hacks in the space so definitely check out his feed um i, I probably i feel bad i should probably know more of these people but this lineup looks great elon i mean how did i get the, come on elon needs to be higher up on this list elon is one of my coworkers, great developer advocate at alchemy she's been there for a long time now um and her uh, educational content is super great and she focuses a lot um on general education about web3 university web3 but also on bringing in uh women and non-binary and marginalized communities into the web3 space which i think is very much needed and she's really good at that so it'd be cool to see her there as well um so yeah, if to buy Dev Connect is going to be in Amsterdam. This one's going to be really interesting too because it's kind of like uh, Ethereum Foundation or people at the Ethereum Foundation are kind of hosting this event, but it's not like a traditional convention or um, you know yeah convention or meetup where there's this like central programming everybody everybody buys tickets to it. It's more like you know different groups are going to be hosting their own events at different places uh, and then. And then they just like slap it on a calendar and centralize the calendar so that people can find out where it is. But it's more like loose, I guess. Uh, but I think it'll be interesting because they, it's very developer focused also. And they want to talk about, um, you know, how do they how do they phrase it? So they want DevConnect to be productive, which means smaller audiences for some events as relevant experts in these specific domains get to work. Most of these pieces, including ticketing are up to the organizers of each session. So, you know, they're saying like, yeah, you take care of your own stuff. Um, but yeah, here are some of the things, ETH, ETH economics, DeFi day, staking, gathering, 
Security is key, ETH Amsterdam hackathon. Oh, there's a hackathon. I, did I mark that? Did I mark that on different? Oh, I did. Oh, I should I should combine these two. I guess it's happening kind of at the same time. Um, yeah, and then Alchemy is trying to apply and, and host like um, a session for people to talk about uh, you know, infrastructure, like basically node infrastructure and APIs and data access and these kinds of topics that would be relevant, really relevant. So yeah, this is going to be, I think a really high quality event, a lot of really great, um, productive conversation here. And then permissionless will be a fun one. This is going to be probably more finance related. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's going to be, I, I think it'll be fun too, because it's in Miami. So, um, but yeah, a lot of events, a lot of events. So just wanted to showcase this list. Uh, if you want me to talk through any more of these events or anything in particular about events, I've, I've been applying. Oh, I should, I should talk about this one. I can't believe I left this one out. NFT NYC. I'm actually going to be speaking at this. Um, I, I got, this is my first ever like in-person, uh, talk that got accepted to a conference i've done one so far um after joining shortly after joining uh alchemy i did this uh talk at Chainlink. Chainlink generative nft i think this these are the keywords yeah so i did this talk and uh, you can see here this is me talking about crypto leos and how i learned about um coding my my first projects and then working on the Chibi Shinobi's NFT project with the team, Catherine, Matt, and Valerie, shout out to them. Um, but yeah, this is this is my first ever virtual talk. And then NFT NYC, this is super exciting, is my first ever, well, will be, fingers crossed, knock on wood, my first ever in-person talk. Um, and so, yeah, I think, uh, let me let me look, there's an announcement post. I just want I just wanna show off a little bit. <laughs> this is something that I wanna, I wanna remember for myself. Um, here we go. Latasha, she's, you know, a big influencer in the NFT space. She does, I believe she's made, um, I might be confusing her with someone else, but I think she's made some rap music videos and stuff too. Um, not really sure who this guy is, but I probably should know him. David Pakman, managing partner at Coin Fund, Larry Dvoskin, uh, Grammy nominated songwriter, producer. So very cool stuff. But if you look up my name, boom, Albert who alchemy. <laughs> um and then of course we have another alchemy representative so far approved Nikhil Vishwanathan um yeah his talk will definitely be really good too I mean he's like he's just he he's a great speaker and he really gets the future of web3 and especially how alchemy can play a role there so if you're interested in that kind of stuff you know you should go to his talk I'll be talking about I honestly forgot what I applied with, so I'm probably gonna have to ask the organizers. I'm kind of new to this stuff too, but I will be. I, I think I applied with talking about my experience building NFT projects as a developer, um, but then also con going through the considerations and the learnings that I've had had to make to make the project successful that are outside of development too. A lot of it is community building, marketing, uh, but then also talking about all the tools and all the trade-offs and, and things like that. If you wanna make a cheap NFT project versus an expensive NFT project, um, because I think there are a lot of individuals, artists, creators, but also companies who wanna come in and make NFTs. So, you know, going to my talk will, will help you, like give you that uh, first tool set to figure this stuff out. So yeah went on a tangent there but i think that will also be really exciting and that only gets us to halfway through the year uh the big one that i'm keeping an eye on and everybody else is, is uh, in the space is keeping an eye on as far, uh, in terms of events is devcon devcon has been postponed or it got canceled last year because of covid maybe last two years um and they've been saying that this one will take place in uh, bogota bogota i actually don't know how to pronounce that uh, Colombia in late 2022. So still deciding this, but DevCon, uh, I believe this will be DevCon five, six, maybe seven. Oh no, these are, these are not years. Uh, it'll be, I think DevCon six or seven. Um, but I went to DevCon three in Cancun and that's where I met the Amber data team. Um, Doug, I forget. I worked most closely with Trevor and tong tong maybe i can find a picture and put it up here but uh after that devcon i ended up working up working with them for a bit and it was just like it opened my eyes that like that 
that was the year I had first gotten into crypto. I, I had made, you know, gotten lucky with my investment, made some money. And I was like, okay, I'm going to treat myself a little bit, go to this big conference in Cancun, which number one would be a great vacation. And number two would be a great way for me to kind of see like what all this hype is about and like learn from the actual engineers, the builders, the investors. Um, and after I going there, not only did I see all of that and learn all of that and get convinced that like, hey, this is the future, but also number two, got me a job, <laughs> which is like even more practical um, and unexpected. But yeah, anyways, conferences are great. Hope this list was great. You know, hope my rambling wasn't too rambly. Uh, let me know in the comments below which ones you are planning to go to. And hopefully I can see you there, you know, like with face masks and everything. But also, it'd be great to get a picture, uh, grab a beer, or 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 a pretzel. You know, for people who don't drink beers, I like pretzels. I don't know. I don't really like pretzels. I've been getting into pretzels lately. I, I'll call myself a pretzel guy now. Um, so yeah, let me know. Bye.